from my union.fit students who were taking the IT Band-Aid, reframing and care for a misunderstood tissue, or for anybody who's interested in learning more about the IT Band, here's a chunk of the class that was interrupted when the live stream dropped. This is a little anatomy lecture, not just about the IT Band, but about the greater fascial tissue, the fascia lata that the IT band happens to be a part of and a part that people are a little bit obsessed with rolling out. So the fascia lata refers to that grand expanse of fascial tissue that surrounds your whole thigh. It actually travels up to the inguinal ligament. That's the low pelvis. And for some people, that's part of the ab structure. It also wraps around and hooks into your coccyx and your sacrum. And it's a legging, it's a tensional legging that dives into different aspects of your femur. It connects into hamstrings, it connects into adductors, and then it tapers across and becomes a retinaculum, a, 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 a joint bandage around your knee, and then it inserts and then re-expands into your curl fascia, your lower leg fascia. So the, the fascia lata is a comprehensive connective tissue. So when we're talking about the IT band, it's not just that we want to you know, get to know this very thickened strap that happens to have longitudinal fibers, well, as well as oblique facing fibers and transverse fibers. The IT band and the fascia lata itself are multi layers of fascia, but they just happen to be profoundly thick on the outer thigh because really this is a, a soft tissue stabilizer. My anatomy mentor, Gil Headley, refers to this as an exoskeleton of the inner body. And so rolling the IT band um, and trying to make it into um, some sort of flat cookie dough is only gonna actually leave you crispy and inflamed and probably really annoyed there. What we wanna try to do is address all of the tissues that insert into all the aspects of the fascia lata. And so in the class today, in the class that we just rolled, we did some rolling into the gluteus maximus, which inserts into the fascia lata, into the, the fascia lata and the IT band at this vector. Also the gluteus medius, which has these uh, long fibers, these longitudinal fibers. Um, and that is a muscle that's primarily responsible for hip abduction. Then also a muscle called the, the tensor fascia lata, which its name tells you that it actually contracts the fascia lata. We're also going to be rolling into the rectus femoris. So that is the, the most medial quad, as well as sprays of the psoas and iliacus, where they merge with that rectus femoris, all part of the fascia lata yet again. And then we'll be talking to the whole of the quadriceps, as well as the connections of the lateral quad into the septa that it borders with the biceps femoris, and also the vastus medialis as it inserts its way into uh, the membranous uh, tendon of the biceps uh, 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 semitendinosus, one of the hamstrings. So just as a reference, some of the um, fascial textbooks that I was using for my references as I built this class are Carlos Deco's Functional Atlas of the Human Fascial System and Hanno Steinke's Atlas of Human Fascial Topography, as well as Tom Meyer's work and Gil Headley. And I just want to say that someone who just took this class said, that IT band class was life-changing. I've had this pain in my right hamstring that I could not figure out how to remedy. And after this class, 35 minute class, it's gone. It must have been the connection between IT and hamstring. Also the front of the knee, wow, I had pain there too and didn't realize it was the IT connection point. Mind blown, thank you. So if we're just thinking about our body in terms of little these microfascial parts, you're missing the boat. You really have to look at the comprehensive intersections of course, we need to look at smaller parts. It helps our brain to just look at small parts. We also need to sew ourselves back together. We really are interested in remodeling. So the IT band is a great conversation starter that helps us to learn this greater continuity. So I hope you'll join me. Check out that rollout. I'll see you there.